It is American statesman Ben Franklin who said, he that is of the opinion money will do everything may well be suspected of doing everything for money. In this lesson, we're gonna compute pay based on a percentage commission. We're gonna compute piecewise pay and we're gonna explain advantages and disadvantage of pay based on production. All to answer the question, what jobs base their pay according to the amount produced? Before we get into it, let's make sure we're ready for this lesson by doing warm up number two. Which of the following equation represents the statements three times the sum of X and seven exceeds Y by 23? The first thing we're gonna look at as three times. So we're gonna look at a three times. The sum of means we're looking at something with parentheses of the X and which is plus seven. So I wanna see three times X plus seven in parentheses. This means I get to eliminate the first one right off the bat. In this case, exceeds is being used as an equal sign. So that is all that should be on the left. That would do away with the bottom choice, which was mislabeled A should say C. And Y by 23, that would mean Y plus 23 on the right. So B is the answer. Now let's take a look at a problem that you will be able to do by the end of this lesson. Joyce works at Coronado's Furniture. She is paid on commission. She receives 10% on her first $900 in sales and 15% of the balance of her sales. Last week, she earned $750. What is the total value of furniture she sold? So we're gonna let X represent the total value of the furniture. This would mean that she would receive 10% or 0, 0.10 of 900. We also know that she would receive in addition a 15% for everything over 900. So we're gonna do X minus 900 to get what is the excess. We also know that she earned $750. So if we multiply and get rid of these parentheses, we're gonna wind up with 90 plus 0.15X minus 135. Let's combine these terms on the left so that we get 0.15x minus 45 is equal to 750. Moving 45 to the other side, we get 0.15x is equal to 795. We can then divide both sides by 0.15 and get that X is 5,300. So Joy sold $5,300 worth of furniture last week. Some employees are not paid by the number of hours they work. Their pay is based on the amount of sales they make. Stockbrokers, travel agents, authors, musicians, realtors, and salesperson may all be paid based on money from sales. These people are paid a commission or a royalty. A commission or royalty rate is usually expressed as a percentage. People who get paid commission or royalties earn more money as more sales are made. Even if they work many hours, they can earn very little money if they make very few sales. Some employees get a commission in addition to a regular salary. Can you think of any advantages or disadvantages to getting paid only a commission? A real estate salesperson receives a commission on a sale of each home. The salesperson makes no money until there is a sale. When an author writes a book, the author's job is basically done. Royalties depend on sales, but the author does not have to do any more writing to make any more money. However, an author can do promotional events and book signings to increase awareness of the book, which may increase sales. Compare commission work to people who are paid according to the amount of items they produce. They are paid by production rather than by the length of time it takes for them to do the work. These employees are called peace workers. Peace workers are paid on a certain amount of money called piecework rate for each item they complete. Although piecework is not as common as it was in years in the past, there are still jobs in farming, manufacturing, clothing factories, and journalism where this is the meant. Although piecework is not as common as in years past, there is still jobs in farming, manufacture, clothing factories, and journalism where this method of payment is used. Piecework pay is sometimes used in combination with an hourly wage. The employee gets paid by the hour and receives a certain amount of money for each piece of work completed. The greater the number of pieces of work completed, the more money the employee makes. What are the benefits to both the employer and the worker? 
In these examples, we're going to examine how certain occupations pay their workers based on sales and production, not hours worked. Adriana wrote a textbook for high school students. She receives a 10% royalty based on the total sales of the book. The book sells for $47.95 and 17,000 copies were sold last year. How much did Adriana receive in royalty payments for last year? So what we want to do is determine how much money was made. So there were 17,000 books sold at $47.95 each. This means that there was $815,150 made, the total amount of sales. But she's going to receive 10% or 0.1 of that. That means she gets $81,515. Let's check our understanding of this. Xander writes math textbooks and sells for X dollars each. He receives a bonus of $2,500 for signing the contract, and he receives 8% commission on each book sale. Express the total amount of income Xander earned from selling Y books algebraically. Well, 8% commission would be represented as 0.08. This is 8% of the sale price X of each book. If he sold Y books in total, then we would multiply that to get the total amount that is earned. But there was also the $2,500 that was given as a bonus check. Now let's compute pay based on a percentage of commission. Allison sells cosmetics part-time from door to door. She is paid a monthly commission. She receives 11% of her first $900 in sales and 17% of the balance or the remainder of her sales. Last month, she sold $1,250 worth of cosmetics. How much commission did she earn last month? Well, for the first $900, she earned 11%, so 0.11. When we multiply that, we find that $99 was earned. This is based on the first $900 of sales, but 1250 minus 900 is gonna give us 350 that she is gonna earn an additional 17% on. So we can multiply that by 0.17 to get $59.50. Add that to the $99, and we get that she's gonna earn $158.50. So her total commission is $158.50. Let's check our understanding of this. Arthur sells electronics on commission. He receives 7% of his first X dollars in sales and 10% of the balance of his sales. Last week he sold Y dollars worth of electronics. Express the commission he earned in his last month algebraically. Well, we know that he's going to get C of X dollars, and this is going to be 7% of whatever those sales were, Y, and this is when Y is equal to X. Now he would still get that 7% of the Y dollars, but he's gonna receive 10%, so 0 0.10 times Y minus X. This is gonna give the sales over the Y dollars. This is gonna occur whenever Y is less than or equal to X. Now let's compute some piecework pay. Kate assembles dresses in a factory that makes dresses for a designer boutique. She is paid a piecework rate of $85 per unit or each piece produced. Yesterday, she made three dresses. How much did she earn? This seems rather straightforward as we have $85 per unit per dress and three dresses were made, so $255 yesterday. Let's check our understanding of this. Martin writes magazine articles. He's paid a rate of P dollars for each article he writes. Last year, he wrote S articles. Express his total piecework earnings algebraically. Well, since he's paid P dollars for an article and he wrote S articles, that's how much money he would get paid that year. Now, let's try to explain some of the advantages and disadvantages of pay based on production. Tony picks strawberries and gets paid a piecework rate of 45 cents per container for the first 200 containers filled. He receives 65 cents per container for every container over 200 that he fills. Last week, Tony filled 270 containers. How much did he earn? 
Now we're gonna compute the piecework pay for 200 containers at a rate of 45 cents per container. Then compute the pay for the containers over 200 and add these amounts to find the total pay. So 200 containers at 45 cents per container is $90. There's an additional 70 containers left over and those pay 65 cents per container. So that means $45.50 was made. When we add these two, we get $135.50. So that's how much was earned last week in piecework. Let's check our understanding of this. Brianna picks tomatoes on a local farm. She receives 11 cents per crate. Last week, her total piecework earnings was X dollars. Express the number of crates she picked algebraically. If she earned X dollars and she is paid a per crate, that gives us the idea that we're just gonna simply multiply that by 11, but not 11 itself, 11 cents, so 0.11. Glassman Chevrolet pays commission to its car salespeople. They are paid a percentage of profit the dealership makes on the car, not the sale price of the car. If the profit is under $750, the commission rate is 20%. If the profit is at least $750 and less than or equal to $1,000, the commission rate is 22% of the profit. If the profit is above $1,000, the rate is 25% of the profit. If X represents the profit, express the commission, C of X, as a piecewise function. So there's a different rule for each of these different domains. We know that they get a 20% commission for all profits less than $750. This means that C of X is gonna be equal to 0 0.20 times X, and this is when we have zero is less than or equal to X less than $750. We know that a 22% commission rate is for profits from $750 to $1,000. So we'll be able to say 0.22 times X, and this is when 750 is less than or equal to X, which is less than or equal to $1,000. And we know that a 25% commission rate is paid on profits greater than 25%. So we can say 0.25 times X, and this is when X is greater than 1,000. Let's check our understanding of this. Let's find the difference between the commission paid if a Glassman Chevrolet salesman from example five sells a car for $750 profit compared to selling a car for $749 profit. Let's start with these $749. That means that they're gonna get 20% of $749. This is gonna give a $149.80 commission. But what if the car sold for a $750 profit? Well, then we would be multiplying by 0.22 and that would give us a $165 commission. This means if we subtract the lower from the larger, we would wind up with a $15.20 difference in commission based on that $1 in profit. Joyce works at Coronado's Furniture. She is paid on commission. She receives 10% on her first $900 in sales and 15% of the balance of her sales. Last week, she earned $750. What is the total value of furniture she sold? So we're gonna let X represent the total value of the furniture. This would mean that she would receive 10% or 0 0.10 of 900. We also know that she would receive in addition a 15% for everything over 900. So we're gonna do X minus 900 to get what is the excess. We also know that she earned $750. So if we multiply and get rid of these parentheses, we're gonna wind up with 90 plus 0.15X minus 135. Let's combine these terms on the left so that we get 0.15X minus 45 is equal to 750. Moving 45 to the other side, we get 0.15X is equal to 795. We can then divide both sides by 0.15 and get that X is 5,300. So Joyce sold $5,300 worth of furniture last week. 
Let's check our understanding. Lauren is a salesperson at Coslow's Tires. She is paid a monthly commission. She receives 6% of her first $1,000 in sales and 11% of the balance of her sales. Today, she earned $203. What is the total value of tires she sold? We start by knowing that she gets 6% or 0 0.06, and this is of the first 1,000. And she receives 11%, 0 0.11, of the balance of her sales. This means that we're gonna be looking at X minus 1,000. If she earned $203, we can call that equals 203. This means that we're gonna have 60 plus 0.11 X minus 110. We're gonna combine these like terms to get 0.11 X minus 50 is equal to 203. We can move 50 to the other side so that we get 0.11 X is equal to 253 and divide both sides by 0.11 to find that there was $2,300 worth of sales.